you often say coming from a place of abundance. Would you please break that down and share what you mean by that? I know, and it sounds very new aging, and it's something that everyone says, but it really is shifting a belief system about our sexuality, mm -hmm. which, believe it or not, is the first domino that will change everything else in your life. We're moving from being a passive participant to an active participant. And that said, it's hard. It's hard when everything that we see around us, in the media, in our families, role models, women walking around, it's all repression. And it's this idea that women don't need pleasure, right? Mm -hmm. Women don't need sex as much as men do, right? Boys will be boys. It's such a strong instinct and drive. Mm -hmm. You know, they get a pass, <laughs> but no one ever talks about women needing pleasure and desiring, you know, orgasm and connection. Mm -hmm. And we do. We're human. Of course we would. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Right. And, and in our society, right, we're beholden to our pleasure. We we somehow value pleasure. Society tells us that pleasure is better when it's given to us by someone else. So we're constantly in this mode of scarcity um, for our own pleasure because someone else has to give us permission. You know, we want a partner to give us an orgasm. Um, and, and when we set that up for ourselves, when we don't have abundance. So how do we get abundance, Carolyn? Self-sexuality. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because that is the basis of our self-esteem. And that's mm -hmm. why we never make that connection and we don't feel entitled, mm -hmm. right? Because if we compare ourselves, men feel entitled to pleasure. No one would ever tell them they couldn't touch their genitals whenever they want for their own pleasure or have an experience with as many people as they desire, right? Mm -hmm. And for us, love is a limitation. We have to love the person. It has to be about, we have to please them. Mm -hmm. When we shift that and I'm alone, I'm just pleasing myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's revolutionary. Right. right. I'm taking my hand, I'm oiling it up, and I'm playing with myself to enjoy the feelings and see where I'll go. And guess what? I can get there all by myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's independence. That's a feeling of freedom. Mm -hmm. And then if I keep on going and I realize I can have multiple orgasms mm -hmm. and that I could go for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, maybe 90 minutes, mm -hmm. right? And reach these heights of pleasure mm -hmm. anytime I want for the rest of my life because my sex organ doesn't age. Right. I watched Betty Dotson have orgasms till she was 91. She couldn't with partners at the end because of COPD and not getting oxygen, but she could lay next to me in the circle. And I watched it. And let me tell you, they were huge mm -hmm. orgasms. Mm -hmm. You know, this was no joke. There was no change mm -hmm. with age. Yeah. Our bodies are built for pleasure to last a lifetime. And we don't need permission from a partner or from our parents or from religion or from society. We need to give ourselves permission and know that we're entitled and that we're deserving. And it's not about like, oh, independence doesn't mean like, oh, I'm just going to be by myself the rest of my life, you know, or I'm going to be lonely or I'm going to be lacking in some way. Independence lets us do the dance with a partner on an equal playing field, which is so important. You know, orgasms beget more orgasms, right? So the more, the more pleasure you have, the more it's going to be incorporated into your life. So, you know, putting yourself on that kind of sexual diet and waiting only for a partner um, it is not going to get you happiness and pleasure in your life. Well, you're starving, right? right? And so what happens when you're really, really hungry and you sit down and you wolf down some food, it's not very satisfying. Mm -hmm. So when I'm cycling orgasm energy alone, mm -hmm. right, by myself and understanding, getting to know my body, the orgasm's right there under the skin all the time. Right. If I'm not touching at all, and then I'm, you know, with a partner, and I'm enjoying mm -hmm. myself, it's going to take me a lot longer. So yes. masturbation is like your exercise. It's like my connection to myself 
my meditation, right? I can have that orgasm and get all those good feelings. And then I'm ready, right? Mm -hmm. To pull in the right partner. So it really comes down to belief. Yes. I have to believe, right? Mm -hmm. Whether we were created or we evolved, I have this organ on my body, the internal clitoris dedicated solely to pleasure that never ages. And I can have multiple orgasms. Mm -hmm. I have to believe that though. If mm -hmm. I still think like, am I having, will it happen? Uh, 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 right. That neurotic loop, you're mm -hmm. going to block. Right. Right. Cause orgasms right. like lightness and fun and safety. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. why we're so safe with ourselves. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't be more safe than that. Right. So if I believe it requires faith that first time, right? right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, will I have an orgasm? Yes. It's a reflex. I know this right. and I'm going to believe it because I'm going to suspend all those negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to think about something that inspires me and I'm going to carve out some time for myself and I'm going to make it happen. Yes. And I think that's so true. We have to take it. We have to believe. Right. Right. And the more you practice, you know, and the more orgasms you have, the more you trust your body and the more, you know, it's going to happen. Like <laughs> no doubt. that's exactly it. Yes. Yeah. When we did the goop piece and it debuted in the theater, which is really odd to see um, your evolved the size of a car on a screen. <laughs> okay. Let me just tell you that. Like even adult performers don't see that anymore on the big screen mm -hmm. and yourself having an orgasm. And as I sat there, just, uh, you know, afterwards, all the audience members came up and they were like, were you afraid you weren't going to orgasm? And I just, Betty and I laughed because I said, that was the only thing I wasn't worried about. Mm -hmm. I was worried about, you know, how I looked in the sense I didn't want to be distracting and I wanted to have like muted clothes and muted hair. And I wanted to say things clearly and I didn't want to confuse, you mm -hmm. know, because there are so many ways to introduce topics. And I'm thinking about women all over the world where English isn't their first language. And so <laughs> I said, the only thing I was aware of, I can have an orgasm like whenever I need to. And I didn't mm -hmm. just have one. I had about three mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there was a room full of people. With a mm -hmm. half a million dollar camera between my leg, that is abundance. And that's not just me. I'm not right. special. Mm -hmm. You can have that too. It's just time, practice, dedication, mm -hmm. and the belief that I'm worth it. Absolutely.